And one thing that has worked is ratcheting up pressure on the regime, but we're dealing with an administration right now that's moving in the opposite direction. Obama believed that because of the power of his personality in his history, that foreign governments would change their behavior towards the United States. Pete Hoekstra served as the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee from 2004 to 2007. He says the Iranian policy under President Obama has not been managed by foreign policy experts in the State Department, but rather by one of the president's closest advisors. The involvement of Valerie Jarrett, that's been rumored or talked about uh, in detail uh, for the last number of years. She is kind of the point person on a nuclear deal with Iran. Valerie Jarrett was born in Shiraz, Iran, to American parents. She is a longtime advisor to President Obama and is considered the most influential among those in his inner circle. There are people who say she speaks Farsi, which I've never had confirmed, but I have confirmed that she's been running around and she has told uh, Middle Eastern leaders that she's got the Iran dossier and that she's working hard on it. In November 2013, Israeli media outlets reported that official U.S.-Iranian negotiations were little more than a facade. Reports went on to say that a secret deal had already been struck by Valerie Jarrett, who had been communicating behind the scenes with representatives of Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. When you get to that point, you recognize that it's the amateurs that are in charge of negotiating and developing foreign policy. White House National Security Council spokeswoman Bernadette Meehan said the report was, quote, absolutely 100% false. However, on November 24, 2013, a temporary agreement was signed between Iran and the group of nations known as P5 plus one, the five permanent members of the UN Security Council plus Germany. The pact amounted to a short-term freeze of portions of Iran's nuclear program in exchange for decreased economic sanctions. The agreement expires on November 24th, 2014.